Hey, I hope you're doing great. My name is Jay and in this quick video, I want to show you keyboard events. So every time a user goes to your website and input something using the keyboard, you can get data back. You can get whatever uh, character they're pressing and uh, you can use that data to do whatever you want. So I want to show you that in code. So let's do that. Here is my code. Um, as you can see, it's just HTML, some JavaScript and CSS here. So what I'm going to do is add some HTML first, then we're going to add some JavaScript and it's going to be super simple. Like if someone press a simple letter or some kind of symbol, we can get something and we can take action, like create a function that do, do something about it. Right. So let's go ahead and let's do, um, let's first create a container. Let's do that. And let's create an input, just a regular input with a, um, it's going to be a type text. We can add a class that way we can use that later in JavaScript. Let's call it, I don't know, keyboard. You can call it whatever you want. Doesn't have to be keyboard. Um, I'm going to create a button. We're not going to use the button, but, um, just make sure that it looks good. I don't know. You can use the button if you want to. Um, by the way, this code is going to be in the description of the video. If you want to download the whole code. Um, let's add a class of BTN, something very simple. Let's put send here. Um, let's save this. And there you go. As you can see, we have a simple field here that you can write and then a send button. That's not going to do anything right now, but our main focus is the keyboard. When someone is uh, typing something, what we can get and do. So I'm going to um, open my console. Let's do that. And now let's add here our JavaScript. So let's do um, script source. It's called main.js. Right, I'm going to save that. I'm going to go to my main.js uh, file. I'm going to console lock whatever just to make sure it's working. So let's do is working. And here we go. We have it's working. All right. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create the variable for the actual input, like the field. So let's do that. Let's call it, um, let's do const. Um, let's call it keyboard. You can call it whatever you want. Okay. This is going to be equal to document dot query selector. And the class is keyboard. All right. So now what we can do is add an event listener to that variable. And we're going to use three different events or uh, the three main events for keyboard. Let's go ahead and do that. Now let's do keyboard dot at event listener. And here is where we have to um, choose the specific keyboard event. So I'm going to use the first one. Let's do key down. All right. And here I'm going to use a um, arrow function with an event. So I'm going to do E and an arrow function just like this. And let's console log E for now. Let's see what that is and what is going to give us. Oh, sorry. You need a comma right here. There you go. So the event key down comma and then the actual arrow function. Okay. Let's save that. And now let's start just writing whatever. Let's spread. Let's press just one letter. There you go. Letter F. And as you can see, we have some data here. I'm going to open this. Click on the arrow. And you have a list of a bunch of things. All right. A lot of things happening here. But our main focus right now, as you can see, key is the F key code specific code for that letter is 70. OK, there's a lot more things, but let's just focus on the basics. Let's use the key code that way we can detect that specific letter and do something about it. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to remove this. And let's use another event instead of key down um, key down. It, it doesn't matter what you press letter, letter, symbol. 
um, actually if you press it all over again as you can see um, it's not all over again but if you press it and it's pressed it's gonna keep giving you let me let me just clear this let's press and it's gonna be pressed all the way as you can see it's gonna keep giving you that so that's one thing about key down so let's change it for um, key up so key up let's save it it's gonna detect when the um, when you press and, and release so let's press the same one F nothing is happening yet I'm gonna release there you go now we have it's the same data but um, different kind of um, action when you press it right so it's on release and even if you even if it's pressed non-stop nothing is happening okay so that's key up let's now use key press there you go let's save it so key press is on characters so any character like a b f whatever it's gonna work but if you do uh, let's say left arrow right arrow it's not gonna work okay i'm gonna do i don't know whatever letter that works but if i do left right it's not working not working at all but if i change it to the first one which is key down save it i'm gonna press left there you go we have the arrow left here perfect down up right that's working perfectly and if i press right right okay so that's working so you can imagine using left right if you want to create some kind of simple video game um, you can use this very easy so let's go ahead and keep using um key down that's fine let's use key down and what i want to do is when you're writing something and you press a, a specific letter or symbol i'm going to give you a message like sorry you cannot use that symbol or letter so that's a use case very simple to get started but let's do that a very simple if i'm going to do e which we're getting all the data and remember the key code this key code right here so I'm gonna do dot key code just like this is equal to a specific number of that so I'm gonna do the at symbol which is I think actually I don't know which one is it is it 50 let's do it at there we go at which one is it is key code 50 perfect so I'm gonna do that one and I'm gonna alert I'm just gonna use alert for testing purposes I don't know it doesn't look that good but let's say if the person pressed that at symbol we're gonna alert I'm sorry you cannot use that symbol or you cannot use that whatever is pressed let's do that so alert um, sorry you can't use and here we're just gonna add uh, e and if we go back here let's go here the key actually shows you whatever you pressed so let's do e dot key just like that and let's do some space here let's save it let's see if that works so I'm gonna write a bunch of things and I'm gonna do the actual at symbol sorry you can't use at I'm gonna click OK now the problem is that it's gonna add it anyways we can solve that very very easy you can do eat prevent default okay it's a method that comes with it let's save it and let's do it again let's test it again at sorry you can't use at okay and it's not appearing in the field 
perfect that's what i want now let's say that we want of the at and another one so i can do here in the if statement i can do or same thing uh e key code equals to um let's do 90 which one is 90 i don't know let's just write random letters supposed to be one of those all right let's see all right so sorry you can't use z so it seems like z is the 90 the key code number 90 okay perfect so is the c let's do the at sorry you can use you can't use at Perfect, so you can see how simple it is to get started with this, all keyboard events, and you can take an advantage and you can do a lot. This is just the beginning. Go from here, the code is description if you, wanna, if you wanna test it, or you can actually take it and bring it to a different level. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.